Let's look at the lesson, interpret tally charts, picture graphs, and tables. This one says, Savannah's mom gave her a chart of the fruit she needs to buy. How many bananas does Savannah have to buy? Well, when I'm looking at this chart, I can see that there are bananas in this row and apples in this row. So when I'm looking at the row that has bananas, I see that there are tally marks. So all I need to do is count how many tally marks there are. So here's banana and we can follow it over and here's how many bananas there are. Can we count those together? One, two, three, three bananas. So the answer is three. All right. Now this one says, this is a chart of the dinnerware in Emily's kitchen. How many bowls are in Emily's kitchen? Do you see the word bowls here? It's okay if you don't know how to spell the whole word, but I know that it starts with the B sound, which is the letter B. And I found it here, B. So bowl, here is plate. All right, I see bowl and I'm going to follow it over, bowl. There are this many. Great, let's count those together. One, two, three. There are three bowls. Wonderful. Okay, Andrew likes toy vehicles and made a chart of the ones he owns. How many planes does Andrew have? Great, so I can see that here they're showing us which toy and then here it's saying, well, this is the number of toys they have. And they're going to put that number right under that toy. So there are two planes and there are four trucks. Well, let's look at what the question asked us. How many planes does Andrew have? Well, I can see the plane here and the number right under it. So I know that these go together. How many planes does he have? Yes, two. Great job, so let's type two. Okay, this one tells us that Evan likes toy vehicles and made a chart of the ones he owns. How many sports cars does Evan have? Well, again, it's okay if we don't know how to read that whole word, both of those words. That's okay, we know what letters they start with, S. S. This one doesn't start with S. This one starts with F. This one is fire truck. So this one, sports cars, matches this, sports car. All right, how many does he own? Let's see, let's follow it straight across. One, two, three, four. He owns four. Amazing work. All right, this is a chart of the dinnerware in Sydney's kitchen. How many bowls are in Sydney's kitchen? All right, remember we have our numbers here and our pictures right above it. Which one is a picture of a bowl? Yes, right here. And what number is right under it? Yes, four. Good work. All right, this is a chart of the dinnerware in Ava's kitchen. How many plates are in Ava's kitchen? Well, I see the word plate here and the word teacup here. They asked us how many plates are in Ava's kitchen. So I see just one plate. So our answer is one. Okay, at the sphere store, Chloe made a chart of the spheres that she had seen. How many globes did Chloe see? All right, I see the word globe here, and when I follow it straight across, that's how many she saw. Down here says soccer ball, but we're not looking for how many soccer balls, we're looking for how many globes. So how many is that? Yes, two, one, two. Great, so I know my answer is two. Okay, this is a chart of the dinnerware in Tyler's kitchen. Are there more bowls or plates in the kitchen? Ah, so now it tells us the number. It says there are five and there are three. So what is here? There are five what? Yes, 
bowls and there are three plates. Well, they asked us, are there more bowls or more plates? Yes, more bowls. This is a larger number. Five is larger than three. That is more. So I know there are more bowls. So I'm going to click on the picture of the bowl. Wonderful. Now it says, Alexander's mom gave him a chart of the fruit he needs to buy. Does Alexander have to buy more apples or oranges? Ah, oh, well here I see, here's the number, two and four. So these go together and these go together. So does he need to buy more apples or more oranges? Yes, more oranges, four is greater than two. So we know he's going to buy four oranges, which is more than two. All right, Joshua made a chart of the coins in his pocket. Are there more quarters or dimes? So let's follow it across. I see quarter here, and this is how many quarters. And I see dime here, and this is how many dimes. How many quarters do they have? Yes, just one. What about how many dimes? One, two. Good. So I see two different coins down here. I know that they have more dimes because two is greater than one. If you're not sure which coin is which, here's a trick. Here's the word of which coin it is. That word matches this word. See, it says quarter. And this word matches this word. Do you see that it says dime? Good. And I know that two is greater than one, so there are more dimes, and I know that this one says dime. Great. Wonderful job on this lesson today.